hello and welcome back guys to another video in the last video i told you about the fixed displacement type pumps in this video we are going to talk about swash plate variable displacement pump so if you are new to my channel kindly subscribe to my channel for more information and videos like this so let's get started as you all know in the last video i told you that hydraulic pump can be defined as a device which converts mechanical energy into hydraulic energy in this pump we have basically two portions first portion is pump portion and the other one is sensing portion or sensing system portion in today's video we are going to talk about pump portion and a little about OLSS in the pump portion we have four pumps two main pumps and two other pumps front main pump and rear main pump these both pumps have pressure of 320 kg per cm square and charging pump which has pressure of 30 kg per cm square after that we have impeller pump it don't have any pressure now i am going to explain the basic working of these pumps front main pump is attached to the five spool control valve assembly okay and rear main pump is attached to the four spool control valve assembly i will explain the whole connections and their categories in any other video after that we have charging pump charging pump is for giving oil to the OLSS okay and impeller pump impeller pump is also known as supply pump it don't have any pressure it is fitted between front main pump and rear main pump it connects the both shafts of front main pump and rear main pump it don't have any pressure and this pump is fitted for giving equal and proper supply to both the pumps front main pump and rear main pump because in excavator sometimes you are working at slope and there is less oil on the downhill side and more oil, more oil to the other side okay so let's see the basic components on the pump here we have swash plate type pump okay this is front main pump side because i also written there is a front main pump side which is on the engine side okay drive shaft for getting drive flange for fittings and damper housing okay after that we have front main pump of supply pump this is supply pump fitted between both the pumps okay after that we have rear main pump okay and charging pump at the end of the rear main pump and it's opposite side of the engine okay here we have sleeve coupling and OLSS sensor and system I will talk in other video so this is the basic information of the swash plate variable displacement hydraulic pump okay let's come to the working principle it works on the principle uh, it works on the hydrostatic principle and has OLSS system OLSS stands for open load sensing system okay applicable models it is fitted in PC200-3 and PC220-3 its pressure is 30 kg per cm square and its flow rate is 194 liter per minute here we have OLSS stands for open load sensing system it consists of few valves servo piston and servo valve cut off valve also known as CO valve NC valve also known as negative control valve and at last TVC torque variable control valve OLSS is used to control the delivery of pump according to load condition as in the case of excavator we have sometimes we have more delivery 
sometimes we have less delivery according to load and all of this scenario is done with the help of OLSS okay so this system is fitted with the pump for controlling the delivery of the front main pump and rear main pump according to requirement if there is more load pump will supply more oil if there is less load pump will supply less oil how that system works i will explain in the another video of open load sensing system that video will totally consists of OLSS so stay tuned types of pumps used in this pump uh, sorry types of pistons <laughs> bowl type solid and combination of both bowl and solid there are two shafts I already showed you one gear pump by spline gear pump is fitted uh, on the uh, rear rear shaft and that uh, that is supplied supplied sorry I don't know why I'm making mistakes and supply pump supply pump takes drive by sleeve coupling so I will show you again here we have here you can see the here you can see the spline okay and the supply pump and on the rear side we have gear type pump as it is gear type pump so there will be a shaft coming inside this gear so that's all about today again if you are new to my channel subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon for getting notified by my latest videos so thank you very much for watching my video Allah Hafiz